guys, Goku here, and welcome back to another installment of Goku Reacts. Hope you like the new intro, I'm trying it out for this reaction. Uh, we are going to be reacting to, um, 14 horror stories animated by Llama Arts. Uh, but this is, um, the animated versions of Mr. Nightmare Stories. And I thought I'd change the scenery for you all to, uh, build up a bit more dramatic. I like... I like to build up a setting and a theme, so uh, I hope you enjoy it, because I'm freaking out! Why am I doing this? I didn't- why am I- oh, this place is creepy. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoy this video. Links to the original video will be in the description down below. We'll be breaking this up into um, a few parts. I'm going to react to the first three stories, and then we'll do more later on, because um, this is a very, very long video. So the first three stories, hope you enjoy it. Now, uh... Yeah, make sure you like and subscribe, turn on the notifications, I'd really appreciate it! Please! Please! Let's just, let's just get into this reaction, here we go. Toyota Camry. I was looking for a car to buy for my son for his 18th birthday. That's cool! I was searching all the typical car websites, cars.com, eBay Motors, they were all overpriced as expected. Craigslist was the only place to find an actual deal. About a week well, into my search, debatable. I found an 03 Toyota Camry. It had 67,000 miles, no accidents, no damage, and good condition for only 3,500. That's a steal. This seems like a steal for such what? a reliable car that. with such low mileage. The seller lived about 10 miles from me, which was a reasonable drive when looking for a car. I gave him yeah. a call to set up a time to come check it out. The man sounded normal on the phone. He assured me that there were absolutely yeah, no problems with the car. Yeah, he sounds perfectly fine. He introduced perfectly himself fine, as he? Bob. I brought along 3500 in cash, even though I planned on wiggling down the price as much as possible. I pulled up the dirt road to Bob's property about 15 minutes early. It was a tiny little house. I don't see no Toyota Camry, property, though! Only because I was a bit far from the nearest neighbors. The garage was open, so I walked over to see if anybody was inside. But except for an unusual amount of car parts, it was empty. Yep, that's where I turn back, get back in my car, car and book it home. An old pickup truck. Pickup truck, no to Toyota Camry. That's a lot of red numbers. flags. It was and right we're in the address. middle of the night. This isn't done by daytime. Come on, so I man! On the front door. I knocked for exactly five minutes before deciding to give the man a call. So I dialed his number, and I heard the sound of a cell phone ringing from no. inside the house. Run! I was extremely confused at this point. LEAVE! Now I knew I had the right house. I didn't understand why, if he was home, why he wasn't answering. You don't need to find out about what you need to, to do, it's just moonwalk your ass back into your car, you know, turn, turn the ignition, the and get out of there! I really see much, as it was pretty dark inside the house. God damn it, man! I saw a very old-fashioned dining room set, but across from that, I saw somebody standing at the nope. back door of the house, staring outside. Take my advice and just run already! Leave! So I knocked on the window. No! I didn't even move. There was no gate or anything. There's no door. car there! there just if there's no car to sell, you leave. Area. I simply walked around the house to the back door. Why, oh! I didn't understand how he couldn't hear me. When I got to the back door, I made a shocking realization. Uh, the figure standing uh, by the door was a taxidermied human being. Oh, that's unsettling. Yep. I ran straight. Oh, yeah. Back now you run. Back to my car. I looked up one last time before driving off. The blinds to the window I had peeked into had been shut, but I could see two of the blinds bent open. Somebody was at that window watching me. You can probably guess I had the gas pedal to the floor the whole way home. Nope. The whole situation still makes no sense. All the car parts, the fact that there was no Toyota Camry, the taxidermied human being, the fact that there was no car there leads me to believe that whoever that man was wasn't planning on selling me anything. You think? And that also leads to the disturbing thought that I was very close to becoming a lifeless statue staring out that man's back door. You were going to get Jeepers Creepers. Yep, he was going to creeper you. All for a damn car. <sighs> Vintage XXX. Oh boy. Oh. I Lord. was on tour trying to find some really deep websites. Wait, you're on tour. That's the dark. That's the deep web. No. Stay off the deep web. Stay off the deep web. Weird pictures and videos. 
commonly illegal pornography. Some guy named Vintage Triple X posted a link without describing what it was. And you're gonna click on it because curiosity. It it took me to a Ever heard the term curiosity kills the cat? Popped up with a play In your button. case, humans. The video uh. thumbnail was a dark room, only lit by a TV screen. What was that? Out of curiosity, I clicked play I think I'm okay. and began to hear the sound Being of TV in static creepy. in the background as lines of static slowly swam down the video screen. There was no yeah, sequel at this on moment, this video. he knew he was messing up, guys. Then I noticed something slowly begin to emerge from behind the wall. No. Nope. There was a figure dressed in all black ah. with some kind of black mask on as well. Smash your computer! I started to suspect it was a jump scare video, and I thought I was right when the figure leaped out and ran ah. to the screen in less than a second. It still got me, even though I was expecting it, but then it got strange. The person had their face in front of the screen, slowly moving around as if he could see me. I'm assuming he can see me. you. This is the deep web. Then I heard it crackly. Something cray cray. Say something. It came from the video. It repeated itself, and I could make the phrase out to be. Ask me something. I was really confused. Uh, I tried typing how's something. The weather? There was nowhere to enter text. Then he said, No, not the keyboard. Say something. I felt my heart punch the inside of my chest as he said this. I opened my mouth and mumbled the words, You can hear me? Oh, Lord. Oh, God. He responded God. with, Yes. No! I was uncomfortable no! now. I thought it was a video. I think it's time for you to turn the computer pause, off and just, uh... didn't do anything. Go read a nice said, book. Don't try to leave. I want to talk. I don't. I don't think he wants I tried to talk, the mouse sir. To the exit button, but the mouse was frozen. In fact, none of the keys were responding on my keyboard. Yeah, hackers can mess with your uh, computers. Before my webcam began flashing, great. As if it were no. on. No. Oh no! 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 Screen. No! There, I got a picture of you now. Now just hang on while I get your address, and then we can meet. The hell we can! I started to panic, smashing every key on the keyboard, spazzing the mouse, but it did nothing. I had my finger on the power button, but it also didn't do anything. It's called break the it! Break the off. god dang laptop! The it must burn! Like, You're stuck here. I will find you. Don't even bother. I snatched the screwdriver yeah, yeah, sitting I think on my he's desk, gonna bother. unscrewed the four screws on the bottom of my laptop, and took out the battery. The computer finally turned off. I was gasping for air as if I just ran a marathon. Adrenaline rush. My heart was pounding five times as fast as it should have. Yep, a good old adrenaline rush. I have since left my laptop off after that, and have resorted to using my desktop as my main computer. I'm sure by now nothing will happen. He definitely didn't have enough time to get my address. Why do they have to leave ominous stuff? What is what is this? An old cartoon leaving ominous stuff? The toy closet, okay. It was very common for me to be home alone at night, as I only lived with my dad, and his shifts would constantly shift from days to nights. Uh huh. This happened around the time my dad was doing night shifts. I would stay up really late on these nights watching movies. It's always taken me a long time to fall asleep, so after turning off the TV to go to sleep, I probably laid there for a good half hour. Then, I heard a toy fall over in my toy closet. Uh -oh. It was nothing I would be lying if I said I used to hear some stuff like that out. too. But then, the doorknob to my closet started to yeah, wiggle stuff like that has happened in my closet. until finally unlocking the door. Oh, hell no! I hid no. my covers, not making Why would sound. you- Oh, the covers! If there's one thing I learned as a child, so covers don't protect you! The covers. There was a figure standing next to my bed, looking down at me. Ah! I screamed at the top of my lungs and began hugging the wall behind me. Really? Hug? What's called? The run! I looked out the window and then just walked away out of the room. I stayed in that position for like an hour before checking if he was really gone. The front door was left wide open, so it seemed he had left. I didn't get a minute of sleep that night. You think? Oh, I bet you didn't. I bet you didn't. You know what? I'm gonna do one more. The story's from the point of view of a 16-year-old so, girl. I'm so interested. I used to have a boy living next doing door three, to me that was obsessed so with good. Me. His name was Joey. Every time I would go outside, Joey would come outside as well, as if he were watching me. Stalker alert! Well, it is called teenage stalker, but yeah. He was 17 yeah. and very weird. And he didn't seem to have any friends, as he was always home. Yeah, stalkers usually don't have friends. I tried to get possible that I didn't like this guy, but he wouldn't get the message. 
So I had to finally just tell him one day that I don't like him and to leave me alone. That's not the something you should tell a soccer because they, yep. That won't leave me. Oh, God. It was the kind of angry look a toddler gives their parents when they can't have a toy. Coming from a 17-year-old, that's much more disturbing. Yes, it is! One night, my parents left me to watch the house. I was working on a school project when I felt my bed shift a little bit. Oh, no. I looked under my bed. Ah! I screamed as I saw Joey laying That ain't funny. That's not funny! I ran away while he tried to crawl out from under my bed. I ran to his house and rang the bell at least ten times, telling his parents about his it. His parents? Screw the parents! I'm calling the Joey cops! Never came out of my house, so I called the police. That's right! His parents begged me not to, but I... Damn cared. all that! The police found him still in my room and arrested him. Apparently, he admitted this wasn't the first time he had hid under my bed. They also found Creepy pictures little of bastard. me scattered across his room. The most disturbing Ugh. one was of me sleeping, and it was taken from inside oh, my Oh, that's room. messed up. That is so wrong. That is just... That's, that's so wrong. Yep, that was most certainly creepy. And just ruined my night. I'm, I'm, I'm out here, I'm, I'm camping in this place, this creepy house, watching creepy stuff, and I don't like it, and, it, and it, I just... Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. Hit that thumbs up, like, and subscribe. Now if you excuse me, I need to get out of this creepy man house that I'm in because I don't like it. I did this for you guys, I'm camping out here, and it's just... No! No, no, no! I'm, I'm, I'm gone. You make sure you hit that thumbs up and share this video with your friends. If you want me to do more, there will be more to come. This was just part one, and I'll be doing more. I didn't plan on doing three, I did four, because it was interesting. I was just so into the story. <sighs> Next time I'll bring some popcorn. Maybe I'll bring a guest. Who knows? But I'm going to leave now. I'm so... At times like this, I'm glad I'm a Saiyan and that I can fly. At times like this, I'm really glad. Um, but uh, yeah, I'll, I'll see you next time, guys, and uh, take care of yourselves. Bye! Uh.